Good morning. I have the pleasure today to present you the Copernicus Network Office Municipal. Municipal. And the topic today is satellite remote sending for the urban planning. My name is Christian Steffens and I work for the company Eura AG. Uh, it's a company um, which is commissioned by the uh, German Space Agency at the DLR um, with managing the Copernicus Network Office Municipal. Um, and in the next minutes I want to give you a small overview about our work, about our mission and our work to work with municipals um, and uh, local authorities and how we want to get them in touch with Copernicus data. Yes, before I start, uh, uh, to dive a little bit deep, deep on the topic, I want to tell you a little bit, a little bit about the background, why we exist. Um, yeah, in Germany, on the national and federal level, there's already a very good understanding in how Copernicus data are already used. Uh, in, the, in, the, yeah, in, in many departments, there are already many projects and uh, many departments uh, which, are already, or which already use Copernicus data. But what's not very well known is how is it in the, on, the, on the lower level? How is it in the, in the level of the local authorities and municipals? And that's the reason why we exist. We are part of the... Um, part of the Copernicus integration measure by the BMDV and the DLR. So the BMDV is the Federal Ministry for Digital and uh, Transport Affairs. And uh, yeah, they have a lot of, a big interest in, yeah, uh, to get Copernicus data in use on the municipal level. Um, so one of our, our, our main tasks, you can, you can see here in the three points, uh, a very big task is the pension and establish, establishment of the use um, of Copernicus data by the public institutions. So we want to get them in touch with Copernicus data uh, and know how to use. Um, another big point is to help local authorities in solving, yeah, lo solving uh, tasks with um, Copernicus data and uh, to make the life a little bit easier. And uh, last but not least is a very big task of us, the uh, acquisition and the empowerment of new users in the Copernicus program. We don't work alone. Uh, we have a few, let's say, sibling networks. Uh, one of them you already uh, got to know a few minutes before. Um, we have the Copernicus network forest. Um, there's the Com Copernicus network office uh, for transportation and movement. And uh, on the right side, you can see the network office for soil. So how do we work? One of our big tasks or, or one of our mission is to serve as an exchange platform. So we want to combine on the left side the Copernicus community with the yeah, municipal community. So. We serve as an exchange platform for the Copernicus Lighthouse projects, uh, for example, the industry, technical authorities, or university who already use Copernicus data and work with Copernicus data. And uh, we want to support the non copernical using community on the right side, for example, municipalities, municipal services, state authorities, or other in, in, uh, organizations to get in touch with the data, and we support an exchange and the networking of the stakeholders of these two communities. But the best platform doesn't work without a network. So the other big task of us, or the other big mission for us is, uh, is building a specialized network, network with some kind of a community building. So we have to get to learn how the community works, how many municipals already work with Copernicus data, and yeah, to dive deep deep into this this level. Um, what's very important, or already the most, or almost the most important thing, is to develop an understanding of the work of for municipals and local authorities, and find a common language. We have to to learn how they work, what are the daily topics, and so how to learn how we can support or how Copernicus data can support. Uh, yeah the employees in their daily work. How do we do this? We do this with a an, an classic user dialogue. So we send mailings, 
we take uh, or we have phone calls, uh, we try to, to reach the people there in the local authorities. Um, we send newsletters, we hold presentations like right now. Um, yeah, and uh, the goal is to get a yeah, systematic reg uh, registration of needs. So we want to learn what municipals and local authorities needs so and how we can help them uh, in, in solving their daily tasks. And yeah, collecting questions. Um, the big goal is to derivate support measures. So the things, the things we learn in our daily work with municipals, we can transport directly to the DLR and to the ESA yeah, to, to, uh, to optimize the, the Copernicus network, for, especially for, for the use in, in municipals. Um, in our daily work, we do a lot of workshops and trainings speciali specialized for municipals and, and local authorities. Uh, yeah, we, we make a lot of webinars in a uh, in a high um, yeah in every three month every few months, and uh, at the moment we have a survey. So when we talk to local authorities, we always say there are a lot of ways to get in touch or to use Copernicus data. Um, one way is to work with the classical raw data. So there are a lot of possibilities to, to have an access. In Germany, we have, for example, the Code.de platform um, to, to get access to Copernicus data. Um, we also have the Sentinel Hub, for example, or the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem to direct work with, with raw data. Um, but it's not the easiest way for municipals on lo and local authorities to, to work with data. We, the most of the time, we say, or we, we give, give the hint to work with the, uh, with the uh, Copernicus um, core services of the European Euro Union. And you can see here on the right side, we have a core service for climate change, for marine monitoring, a uh, service for the atmosphere monitoring, land monitoring, and security. And last but not least, the, uh, the emergency management. Like I already mentioned, uh, one of our big tasks is to learn how community, uh, how how uh, uh, municipals work, and how they what what the daily topics are. And so on the yes, on this page you can see a lot of municipal tasks. For example. Um, um, green and, and uh, trees in the city. We have uh, the task of, of uh, environment and pollution. Water is a big topic. Um, security, mobility, and, and transport, and uh, yeah, energy. And um, yeah, Copernicus had have solutions for all of these tasks. So we, we say the, the local authorities or the persons we talk with have a look in the Copernicus core services, see what they offer you, and you will find a solution um, in all of these core services. That one possibility or one possibility to work, or an easy, an easy possibility to, to work with Copernicus data. Um, another possibility is there's not only the, the core services, there are a lot of more services which are yeah, developed by local authorities and for local authorities. You can see here on this slide, it's just, just a few, there are a lot of more services. And this, those are specific services uh, and application based on Copernicus data. They already exist, and so one of our tasks is to get community or to, uh, local authorities, municipals to get in touch or to yeah, to use those services. Um, and one of those services you get to learn a little, a little bit more in the next presentation. Um, it's application Urban Green Eye. But before I yeah, dive deeper in this topic, um, you, you will learn a little bit more about this topic in the next presentation by uh, Frau Engnert, Ms. Engnert. Um, she works for the city of Leipzig and uh, yeah, together with the company LOP, they developed the project Urban um, Green Eye. And um, yeah, before I end, I want to say thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.